All right, get your Kazakhstan flag emojis ready. The undefeated Shavkat Rachmanov has arrived. And I don't care what you want to say about his pre-UFC schedule. When you can finish every single mixed martial arts athlete that they put with you in an octagon or cage, you are doing something right. He's got submission offense that a lot of this division can't lay claim to. He's an outstanding striker as well. And if he's got to win a kickboxing match here tonight and not lean on that patented grappling, he could probably do that to get the job done. But many believe you are looking live at one of the best welterweights in the world and a future undisputed UFC champion. All right, here's the top five welterweight contender, Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad. And I pause at calling him an overachiever, but there were a lot of people who didn't necessarily think that this man was going to vault into the top five and be the factor that he has become in one of the UFC's deepest divisions. Well, when you're this committed, when you are so committed to your craft and you have an iron will that you will be something special, you can accomplish anything. That's Bilal Muhammad. When you talk to him, you get a sense that this guy believes that he's the best in the world. He doesn't believe it, though. He applies the work ethic to it to make himself and give himself a chance. It has allowed for him to be exactly where he is today. And now he believes he might just be one win away from his first shot at the UFC title. We'll see how it goes for Muhammad tonight. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> the champion fighting out of the red corner ladies and gentlemen presenting the reigning defending ufc welterweight champion of the world below remember the name muhammad herb dean third man in the octagon Ready. tonight all right, early round action here featuring the bona fide welterweight contender, Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad. Biggest key to his success of late, undeniably, has been the wrestling and the pressure game, the ability to impose his will on the ground. He has an outstanding top game, very good ground and pound, and I think when his submission offense gets to that next level, Bilal Muhammad's going to start putting... Oh, nice double there, yes. Oh, Shakhtar Rachmanov getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Nice move in the half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that goal. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job passing. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Oh, nice. Nice job staying offensive there as he lands a shot from the bottom. Rachmanov gets up. He is back on the feet here. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. 
great job finding different places for his strikes to land. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when we talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Beautiful transition. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Beautiful ground strikes landing. <clears throat> All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Guys right. start to attack triangle. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Bilal Muhammad. <laughs> All right, half guard form here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option form here is going to be to use his grounded power. Build a base, posture up, aerobic strikes, get back. Oh, he got saved by the bell there. He was getting absolutely starched on the ground, grounded and pounded. Thankfully, the horn came at a good time. You see, gingerly, he gets back to his feet. He'll go back to the stool now for 60 seconds. Now the onus is on his corner to try to keep him in the fight. All right, let's get you some pictures from that previous round, DC. A lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture, get himself postured up, land big ground and pound as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful kick. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Fighter blocks a punch. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the... I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, landed some big shots, too. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think, oh! Oh, well, both of them are landing massive shots. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. The guillotine looks like it's locked in. Right now, he's got to be patient. He's got to squeeze. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Muhammad's in half guard now. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, he got to the spot. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No Reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Muhammad. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. 
seconds winding down in round two. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Bilal Muhammad. All right, man, take a seat. You really rocked in that round. He does not want to be in this fight anymore. I need you to go out there and finish it. He doesn't want to be there. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was Ready that fight. big strike to the head Ready. that landed that Good. put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Oh, there's that kick, and it lands. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe still standing after taking that punch. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Muhammad's got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. Active here in the clinch, and he lands a big shot to the head. Muhammad gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. So Rachmanov's in half guard. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Muhammad. Side control now. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? He passes to half guard. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet. His head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still have a problem out for Overeem's head. Big knee to the body. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in D.C. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight Ready, is going. Ready. Ready. Fourth Go. round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. 
the energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. Oh, Under three minutes to go in round four. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Down now, nice level change, and he gets it. So, showing off the fight IQ there, he was getting tagged on the feet. He passes the half. Oh, right into Mo. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in the jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working toward the finish. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. So Rachmanov's eye is closing up. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that before. Looking to land the leg kick now. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot, and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Here we go, fifth and final round. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who wilts and goes down first. Nice one, two there. So a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can... Oh, oh, that'll, that'll do it! Holy smokes! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Let's go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, one second of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad. All right, so his welterweight greatness continues tonight and still UFC champion. I think on nights like tonight, you're glad you don't fight at 170 pounds. This dude's a problem. I mean, he is a problem for anybody, anybody within the weight area. If he decides to go...